Sora, don't let him get away! <sighs> What's going on? Can't believe it! That stupid peddler let Jafar out of the lamp! Jafar? <laughs> Give me the magic lamp, Aladdin! And now, street rats, I bid you farewell! Crush those urchins! <laughs> <laughs> The game's up, Jafar! You sure this is it? Yeah, yeah. You gotta understand! It wasn't my idea! It was Jafar! He made me bring you here! You don't know him like I do! He can be very convincing! He said if I didn't cooperate, he was gonna... Where is he? Come on, now, you gotta forgive me! Where's Jafar? Well, uh, let's see. Right about now, he's probably attacking the palace. I had no choice! His eyes, they got all creepy and weird. Whatever. Iago, you're supposed to be our friend. But you've been playing both sides, just to make sure you save yourself. I knew you were still a bad guy. I'm sorry! Let's go! Just wait, Jafar. You'll get exactly what's coming to you. Indeed I will, princess. All of Agrabah will belong to me, while you... <laughs> you, my queen, shall weep at my side for all eternity. Oh, please. <sighs> right about now, your precious Aladdin is whispering your name with his last breath. Hmm? Ah. What was that you were saying, Jafar? You dare defy me, you useless bird! <gasps> Ow! Iago! You'll all be joining him very soon! Don't mess with street rats. You went mano a mano with Jafar and you didn't invite me, Al? Sorry, Genie. Things happen kind of fast. And I had some new moves to show off, too. Now, Genie, you still need your help. Who's gonna fix Agrabah? Oh, yeah! One super duper spruced up Agrabah coming right up. You won't even recognize the place when I'm through with it. Just like it was, please. Really? Same old, same old. All right. Oh, yeah! Hey, voila! 
Next time, let me put in a few swimming pools, okay? <sighs> I guess Agrabah's all right now. Yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, you behave yourself. Got it? I most definitely got it. No more looking out for number one. I'm reformed. I want to be a good friend like Genie, but I can't do anything to help you. What kind of a friend is that? Oh, no. It's not like that, Iago. Friends don't have to do stuff. As long as we have fun hanging out together, that's all that matters. So, what do you guys do for fun? <laughs> uh, that's not quite what I meant. Well, anyway... Ow, oh, my feet! Gorsh, Iago! I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Well, <coughs> at least I can still fly. Look out! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh! Was that my cue? Am I on? Come on, Al! Let me build a freeway or something. Uh, everything's fine. Don't panic. Genie? But I can't hold it any longer! Yeah! Ooh. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's good! <laughs> Sora, Donald, Goofy, you guys are too much. If you're ever in the mood for some more cosmic razzle-dazzle, give me a shout, okay? Well, you've done it again, Sora. Don't forget about us, okay? I won't. And Sora, about that friend of yours, the one you're looking for, you'll find him. Trust me. Nothing wrong with my design, it's flawless! There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me! I need to find better assistance. Gentlemen, lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. I thought you thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. Oh! Wherever did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. 
But if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well. I'll leave it to you. All right. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! This looks good. No! Boring! This one? No! No way! Cow! So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun! Run, Run for it! it! I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. This plaza should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course! And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the group. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go! Stop! Blah, blah. It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! We did it! The mystery is solved!
Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm, the doctor's made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally, you've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not the gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart. You bet, tell me that, Sally. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? Ha, 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 ha.